Hi everyone, my name is Jordan. I'm part of the sales team here at Cloud9 Insight. And today I'm going to show you how you can utilize the email engagement function as part of Dynamics 365. So as you can see, we've got a contact record here and this would work on any Dynamics 365 record. The important point being this timeline in the middle of course, which stores all of our communications that we've had with Kurt here. So that being the tasks, the emails, the phone calls, etc. Now, of course, for email engagement, we're going to be focusing on an email, at which point if you pop open this email button here, you'll be presented with an email window that looks exactly like this in the bottom right hand corner. Now, if you wanted to, you could, of course, pop this out into its own window and you can minimize it, as I had demonstrated already, and continue editing your Dynamics records as normal. Now, when it comes to this email editor, of course, you can manage the same functions that you would if sending an email via Outlook as normal. So if you wanted to attach documentation, for example, you can very simply do so. And of course, importantly, when it comes to Dynamics 365 and making things easier for those day-to-day -day users, if there are very common emails that we send out on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis that we want to save some time on, we can store some email templates to save that time. And if we were to do so, it may look something like this as a standard chaser email to get an update on something we're working on. So we have, of course, got our from to CC, BCC and subject lines in there to make sure we're keeping up with what needs to be or who needs to be included in this email. And then as our standard email editor, which is templated, as I've mentioned, but of course, this is a free text box. So if you wanted to add any extra information, of course, you can do. And for the purposes of email engagement, we're going to focus on this box on the right hand side, which gives us three options in terms of functionality that we can take advantage of. The first one is recipient activity will be followed. Now, this is an option that you can take advantage of. It's very often the case that when you use uh, an email template, you can set these as default. So in this example, we have recipient activity being followed uh, as default, yes. But of course, you can turn that off or turn it on again, of course, if you want to. Now, what does that do? Essentially, it means when we're sending this email, we can see when the recipient has opened the email. Now, that's important because when it's stored in our timeline, it will then tell us when the recipient has opened the email. Of course, that being if they open it in general. Now, on to the next area is the scheduling of the email. So perhaps I want to send this email in an hour's time. I want to send it tomorrow. I want to send it in a week's time. It's very simple to manage, of course. We just select a date and a time. So let's say I'm going to send this uh, tomorrow, uh, let's say uh, around midday. Now this delivery of this email has been set to tomorrow at midday. Okay, that's great. And then of course, the final area of functionality that we can utilize is the reminder or, or follow up to that. So let's assume perhaps I, I don't get a response or maybe uh, uh, this email hasn't been opened or I just want to be reminded uh, in any case, and it doesn't really matter what the recipient is doing with the email. I can choose those parameters. So in this case, I just want to be reminded no matter what. Uh, and I want to be reminded, uh, let's say 24 hours after. So we'll set this as noon the day after I sent the email. There we go. Uh, and we can add a comment, let's say, to follow up. Very simple to manage. Uh, OK, so there we've got our recipient activity being followed, whether or not the email is being opened, whether or not the attachments within that email are being opened, uh, when we're going to send that email. So scheduling that for a day's time, a week's time, whenever is going to be best to send that email. And of course, the follow up to that, a reminder for ourselves whether we receive a response, whether the email is opened, depending on what parameters you would like, you can set those very simply save that email to then be sent at a later date, or you can send it right now straight through your Outlook Exchange server, and that will be available for you to see in your sent items in Outlook. Very simple to manage, a really great way to speed up your day-to-day -day productivity with email sending, and of course, a great way to utilize the standard Dynamics 365 functionality that's available to you. So that is email engagement within Dynamics 365. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to assist.